Now that I'm no longer freezing or without power or water, let's get back to making videos, all right? Some time ago, I reviewed what is now my computer chair that I'm sitting in right now, and also when I made what is arguably the best thumbnail I've ever made for any video, and you guys seem to like it. Thank you for the support on that, by the way. And also thank you for 5,000 subs. Uh, we finally made it, I did notice. Again, thank you so much for your support up until now. However, on that video that I was just talking about, there seems to be a question that comes up, um, not that often, but it's been coming up a little bit more, and that is, where's the update? Or can we get an update? How's the chair doing? Is it still good? And all that kind of stuff. Let's have a very quick chat about the chair and how it's doing right now. Let's get into it. All right, if you want the full details of this chair, of my computer chair, I did a review on it, as I said before, and you should check the cards up above, left or right, somewhere up there, and where you will find a link to that video so you can get the full specs of the chair. However, I will give you a quick rundown right now, just a little quick recap on this before we get into the actual update. So the chair was purchased back in April last year. It is the big and tall chair. It doesn't really have a brand name of some sort. Most likely it's probably made in China or somewhere in some unknown factory. Whoever makes these chairs has also modified the product page and added some more versions. So now they have a version that has a lumbar that has a built-in USB massager and they also offer more colors. However, in the usual confusion that for some reason Amazon still allows, you have to be careful what you pick because apparently only the black version, one model of this chair actually comes with a USB massage and the other colors don't. They're just a normal chair, which is uh, kind of what, what you saw me review before and what I have right now. My chair does not have that functionality. Um, it's just the, uh, the regular chair with no massager. As for what this chair has to do with every single day being uh, my body, um, I am 6'2 and over 300 pounds, uh, somewhere around 320, 330, somewhere around there, not including whatever was gained for COVID. So yeah. That's pretty much what it's dealing with every single day for about 10 to 12 hours, um, almost every single day since I purchased the chair. The chair, when I purchased it, as far as the cost was about $170 and the cost is about the same now. Matter of fact, it's a little bit cheaper. Okay, now that you were all caught up, today the chair still supports me uh, just fine. The cushion is good. The chair hasn't started to show any actual wear right now, at least not physically. Um, the armrests are still just like they were when they were like they were brand new. Like I said, the cushion doesn't sink into the frame like most chairs uh, would by now, which will provide the actual back pain I was experiencing with my last chair. But no, everything is still in just about pretty good condition except for one thing, and that is due to the cheapness of said chair. Um, it makes a lot of noise right now. As you can hear, the chair is just creaks. It creaks a lot more now, and this is due to the materials that's used to build the chair. That's, that's pretty much the, what we were talking about. Um, what people are talking about in the comments of that original video that, you know, chairs like this are cheap and, you know, they don't last as long. Well, yeah, I mean, it's less than $200. It's not meant to be a chair that will last you for life, obviously, at that kind of price range. But that's not what I was looking for. We were looking for budget, and that is what we got, comfort on a budget. So if you're looking for um, those better chairs, there's a plethora of those better chairs. If you're looking for, for them, I'll even drop some links down below for those kind of chairs. If you're, if you're looking for the more expensive chairs that will last you, you know, several years, um, then yeah, those exist, but be prepared to pay more for those chairs. How is my back pain exactly? The chair is still holding off my back pain. I do not have any back pain like I used to back in my older chair. And I'm pretty darn happy with that. I have noticed that if I put the lumbar um, too low, then my lower back, like my, my lower back area can get a little sore after about six or seven hours. So I have to make sure I push up that lumbar into a, um, a little bit higher on my spine. And it's a lot more comfortable that way. Do I plan on getting another chair? Well, actually, yeah, I do. Uh, this is because I actually have recently moved uh, to, another, to a new place. And this place we're definitely gonna be at for quite a bit longer. 
and I really want to uh, update my office, kind of fit it better to the room that it's in right now. And a new chair might come along with that deal. I might get a more, a little more expensive chair. Who knows? But right now, the chair that I've, I bought right back in April 2020 is still my chair today. It is still doing just fine for me for work or gaming. I'm always pretty much sitting in this chair every single day. And like I said, I sit in it for 10 to 12 hours and it's just fine. So um, I just want to give you guys an update on how I've been doing and how this chair has been doing for me. And I hope it has answered some of your questions and you will definitely see me again. I have more videos. I'm already working on them right now. So you'll definitely be seeing another video pretty soon. See you guys then. You have a good one. Bye.